Oh yeah, um, first of all I want to apologise because my voice is a bit croaky. Um, so I've just looked at the news and I see that Colin Pitchfork has been given a fresh parole hearing. Now I've done a video on Colin Pitchfork um, a few months ago and he's a double child rapist and murderer. He raped and murdered two 15-year-old girls, one in 1983 and one in 1986. Um, he was convicted in 1988. You, he was the first person convicted using DNA evidence. And um, he was found guilty and he was given 30 years, later reduced to 28. He's done a little bit longer than that. Anyway, he got out about two years ago on license and he was only out for about six weeks um, and he was recalled again. Now, that was, oh God, that was a while ago now, um, November 22, was it? 2022. Um, so, in December... A parole board ruled within February now, so three months ago, the parole board said that he is too much of a risk to be released. But it's his right to appeal that decision, which he did. And um, his application for that to be reconsidered has been successful. So now there's going to be a new uh, parole hearing, um, unfortunately. So the little girls he killed was Linda Mann and Dawn Ashworth. Now Dawn Ashworth's mum, Barbara, said when she heard this news, words fail me now. He seems to want to fight no matter what. I just don't know where to go where to go next to be honest he's killed two school girls i know what i'd do i'd throw the key away in a statement the parole board said the decision refusing mr pitchfork's release was eligible for reconsideration under the parole board rules so basically saying it was his right to appeal the decision in December, saying he's not safe to be released. Um, so, either Mr Pitchfork or the Secretary of State could make an application for reconsideration on the grounds that the decision not to release Mr Pitchfork had been a rational, procedurally unfair and or there had been an error of law. Now, as far as I'm concerned, he raped and murdered two little girls. I don't give two fucks if, you know, if it is right to appeal all these things. He is not safe. He shouldn't be able to come out of prison. He destroyed two families. He is a child rapist and killer. Why are we even thinking of letting them out? We let them out two years ago and there was huge concerns about his behaviour so they recalled him and the parole board said three months ago he is not safe to be released. It's his right to appeal which he did and now there's going to be a new parole hearing that this poor, these two poor families have got to go through. Now, his challenge was successful because the parole panel had a duty to take the prison offence management's recommendation into account and to give adequate reasons for any disagreement with the recommendation. A complete rehearing will take place in due course. Release can only be directed by the parole board if the new panel of three people 
is satisfied that it is no longer necessary for the protection of the public that Mr Pitchfork remained confined in prison. He will remain in prison until this case has fully concluded. Now, the Justice Secretary, Alex Chalk, um, is trying to get an urgent meeting with the parole board because pff, um, a government source has said it is deeply concerning that having made one flawed decision, the parole board have made another, causing immense distress to the families of Linda Mann and Dawn Ashworth. Now, Conservative MP for South Leicestershire, Alberto Costa, he's been campaigning to keep Pitchfork behind bars. Um, and he said of the parole board that they have an utter inability to properly deal with a dangerous man. The Ministry of Justice spokeswoman said, Our heartfelt sympathies remain with the families of Linda Mann and Dawn Ashworth at this difficult time. Um, oh, like I said, I'm forgetting what you were then. Pitchfork was initially freed in September 2021, um, but he was recalled in the early November because he was approaching young women in the street. Um, the parole board then said the decision to lock him up again was flawed and no longer necessary for public safety. It recommended his release. But the justice, the justice secretary asked it to be reconsidered following an outcry. The parole board then agreed in December that it would be too risky to release him. So, at this stage, right, you've got MPs, Secretary of State, Ministry of Justice, all saying, and the families and the public, all saying, this man is a danger to the public, to women, two girls he is a double child rapist and killer the flip-flopping of this parole board is pissing me off they release him in 2021 with like 30 odd conditions on his parole so he's let out weeks later he's following young women around the park so he's recalled then the parole board are like Oh, you know, we think he's all right now. We're going to release him. And then the outcry was like, the fuck you not? So then December, the parole board's like, oh yeah, okay, we agree. He's, he's dangerous. And now they're saying, oh yeah, we're going to reconsider them. For fuck's sake, lock him up and throw the key away. How he's not being murdered in prison, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in this prisons. prison. There used to be a thing called prison justice. He's obviously being well protected. Telling you now, if I was a prison guard, I would accidentally on purpose leave a cell door open, get the most insane person in the prison and say I'm going for the cup of tea and just leave them to it. <sighs> this man is a sexual deviant. Even before the rape and murder of these two little girls. He was exposing himself all the time. He was a flasher. He got off on it. And then before the first murder, it's thought that there was other victims. It never, he was never convicted for them, but it's thought that there were. The flip-flopping of the pill board needs to stop. They need to have a stance, whether it's leniency or, you know, punitive. But this flip-flopping, depending on ministers and MPs and the media and, and families all, you know, saying, what the fuck are you doing? And then they change their minds. I mean, God help us, whoever these three people are going to be on this pill board. Of course, he is... His behaviour in prison is really good. Of course it is. That's not his victim pool. There's no little girls or women for them to attack and rape and murder. So of course 
the prison are gonna recommend oh you know he's really great his behavior is amazing of course it is it always is with these people right across the board as soon as they go to prison they are model inmates they keep the heads down they don't cause any problems for the prison guards they don't start any fights they just keep themselves to themselves and plod along and do the time you know why because there's no little kids or women there for them to rape and kill. That's why. They don't want men. You think these cowards are going to do anything with men? <laughs> He's a sexual deviant. And he is a child rapist and killer. He should not be allowed out. End of. <sighs> I'm going to be keeping an eye on this. Um, as soon as the billboards have had the hearing and came up with a decision, no doubt it'll be, you know, it'll either be, oh yeah, we're going to release him with a million, you know, a million things he's got to follow. Or they're going to keep him inside and in 12 months time, the billboards will flip-flop again. They need to make a decision. I would personally, if I could, I'd give him a whole life sentence. Very, very rarely are they given. I don't know if he could be given one now because that's not his original sentence. But he should not be allowed out. Thoughts and prayers with the families of these two little girls. And his own two sons. He's got two sons. Like, who don't have nothing to do with them, I believe. And then his wife, Carol, all this brings up shit for them as well. You know, they're not guilty by association. The boys were just babies at the time. <sighs> anyway, um, I'll see you in my next one to that.